What's up, guys? It's Antrell. Welcome to my channel, Auto Logics. It's been a crazy few days. The Corvette, the C8, the mid engine Corvette has finally been officially released. There's been all kinds of renderings for the last year or so, but um, it's been officially released. Beautiful vehicle. Zero to 60 in under three seconds for the Z51 um, performance package. For right around 60. That's crazy. They just put the world on notice. I mean, it's going to be a while before anybody get one, but damn, they just put the world on notice. Pretty much telling the Europeans that we could do what you do, but do it less. Do it for less. Bring um, pretty much bring in supercar performance to the average person that can afford it. That's that's crazy. But what I've been thinking about for the last few days is all of this hype around the new Corvette. What about the Camaro? You know, the ZR1 starts at just over 70. And Z28 is gone, but you got a ZR1 1 LE, that's seven to $80,000. So why would you buy that unless you really want a Camaro? Get the vet. Especially now that it's mid-engine, performance numbers 0 to 60, less than 4 seconds. That's crazy. Because I know me personally, if I was weighing the option between a ZR1 1LE and a mid-engine Corvette, I'm going with the mid-engine Corvette. So you would have to really, really, really want a Camaro to not get the C8. So what are they going to do to the Camaro? Because I thought that they were going to raise the price point of the Corvette to where it would be just above what the Camaro maxed out at. But they didn't. So, nobody's even asking this question. Yeah, we know the 7th Gen Camaro got put on hold. They didn't say how long it's going to be on hold, but we know it's on hold. The new current 6th Gen is running until 2023. So, we'll see what they're going to do after that. But, man, it's... it's If you're a Camaro guy, it's scary right now. Unless you just really like your Camaro. But if you're a Chevy guy, it's gorgeous right now. You know? Not only that, who else that, you know, I just thought about, it just popped in my head. They just crapped on Ford Shelby 500 for that price range. They crapped on the Acura NSX, which should have came out with a rear-wheel drive variant of it that was lower end, so it would have been more accessible instead of just a straight hybrid. Um, they would have came out with a rear-wheel drive lower end mid-engine, say for about 70, 80. That car would have sold like hotcakes. But Chevy did it. I'm in awe right now. Every time I look at it, I'm like, it's a beautiful car. It's, it's beautiful. I can't wait to see it in person. I know it's going to look even better in person. Man, I can't wait to drive one. Woo. And it still kept the target top. The target top. Have you been online yet? 
and just spec one out with the different colors and the wheels and wow. It's, it's crazy. So I know a lot of you guys are like, you know, they didn't stay true to form with the front engine rear wheel drive platform. But if you trace the history of the Corvette, they've been trying to go mid engine for decades. Decades, they've been trying to go mid engine. The C7 was supposed to be in mid engine if the financial crisis didn't happen in early 2000. The C7 would have been mid engine. They was re researching it back then. So, I love it. I can't wait to see what the aftermarket do to it. With the body kits and the power they're going to pull out of it. That's going to be crazy. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing one. I just wanted to give my two cents. You know, it seems like with all the hype about the Corvette, people forgetting about the Camaro. You know, and if they stop making the Camaro in 2023, what are they going to do about NASCAR? They use the Camaro right now to race in NASCAR. Are they going to change it to the Corvette? No. Well, shoot, they might. I'm not going to say no. It's GM we're talking about. They're all over the place. But let's hope not. Let's hope the seven gen comes out. Now that the C8 is out, let's hope that they move some people around, shuffle them around, get the seven gen going. It's probably already in development. Um, so, you know, they could have said put it on hold just to take the hype away from that to keep it more on the C8. So, but it's going to be. It's going to be the thing to watch. The C8 versus the GT500. I will say versus the Hellcat, but the Hellcat can't turn corners. It's only built for straight line speed. But, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just looking at the lines. I got it up on the laptop right here. I'm just looking at the lines of the Corvette. It's just. The different aerodynamic elements that they were able to push and move and redirect air to cool certain things and to give it better downforce. So we'll see, because you know they're going to have a Grand Sport coming, they're going to have a Z06 coming, they're going to have a ZR1 coming. Then they're talking about a hybrid. Top of the line, I mean, it's, it's, they put the world on notice. They put Europe on notice. We could do what you do for less. So it's going to be interesting to see how the world responds. It's going to be interesting to see how Ford responds. Chrysler, where we know what they're going to respond with. They just go through a bigger motor into a bigger car. So, but well done, Chevy. Well freaking done. Anyway, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, hit me up. We got more to come. We got a few car shows to come up coming along the way. Uh, we're gonna have some car reviews coming here real, real soon. Just making some deals, moving some things around to make it happen. Um, so, but well done, well done, Chevy. Well done, and I'm out.